Thanks for joining us on Final Drive TV. We are at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca for the opener of the United States Touring Car Championship 2017. I'm your host, Becky Arsham. Joining me today is Dave Pittenger, a longtime, well, a local resident mm -hmm. uh, of the area, also a crew member for the Life's Good Racing team. Yeah, thank you, Becky. I'm glad to be here, and I can't wait for this long winter to be over because I just love motor racing. First time I was ever at Laguna Seca was in 19. 74 now Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca and I just can't wait to get this season started. It's going to be an exciting season. We have a new spec tire for our, our guys. We're running on Hankooks now, slicks, so that's going to be a fun standing start. Right. Now they haven't had too much time on these new tires, but they're fast, sticky, and they're supposed to last. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Added to that here at, at Mazda Raceway, we've got an overcast. They're calling for a little bit of rain. So do they go out on the slicks? Do they go out on intermediates? Or do they go full rain? We're going to have to find that out. Well, what they're going to do, it's the, ra the race is going to start pretty soon. So they're going to have to make a decision. But I'm thinking they're all going full slicks. Yeah, I think you're right. But uh, overcast, cold track we'll see how those slicks work it's going to be an exciting race that's right yeah and also the the races themselves in tc the biggest one is going to be between andre hartanto a past champion in his honda s2000 and the reigning champion michael shawhan in his bmw e46 so and then also in gt the uh prototype development group uh Factory 5 uh, gtlm prototype with carl reitquist from sweden driving that's right against our Daniel Ekstromsev, the reigning champion in GT, in his tricked out and very fast M3. All right, so let's get this season started. You betcha, I'm ready, let's go. Let's go. Thanks guys, welcome to another season of the United States Touring Car Championship. I'm Rick Nanini and I'm joined with David Nixon. David, welcome. Hey, great to be back, Rick. Let's get to the starting grid on this first race of the 2017 season. On pole position, we have number 24, George Kibilov in the Speed SF BMW M3. Next to him, Andre Hartanto in the Prima Racing Honda S2000. Lining up behind them is number 88, Patrick Cho in the Speed SF Racing Nissan 350Z. Next to him will be last year's championship winner, number 22, Michael Shawhan in the BTM Motorworks BMW 330i. Next, all the way from Hong Kong, Edgar Lau in the Initial P Lexus IS300. Next to him, Pete Bovenberg in the MBO Motorsports Honda Civic SI. Lining up behind them, we have got Andy Chittam, number 85, in the Mini Deck Motorsports Ford Mustang. And next to him, we have number 82, Victor Ng in the Red Star Racing Honda S2000. Victor, all the way from Taiwan, from what I understand. Next row, we have Tom Milburn in the Bay Area Drafting Acura RSX. And next to him, Thomas Petrie in the Petrie Racing Acura Integra R. These two guys were at it all season long. We're waiting, for, and they're so close this year, too. Lining up next is number 36, Michael McCulligan in the Mazda Trix RX-8. And next row, we have the GT Class. The GT Class guys are going to start a little bit uh, further back to give them some space because of their big horsepower numbers and on pole and GT is Carl Ritquist and the prototype development crews prototype development group factory 5 next to him Daniel Rompstev in the Red Star Racing BMW M3 behind them we've got number 41 Sam Stowell from BAF Auto Body in his uh, Jaguar XK RS next to him is Felipe Loza number 8 in the Pepsters garage Chevy Camaro and behind them, we have actually a couple of uh, out-of-class cars. Gary Sheehan in the GoGoGear.com Hyundai Genesis Coupe and Larry Banny in the GoGoGear.com uh, BMW M3. Both of these guys had mechanical problems, and they chose to start in the back uh, for safety. All right, so it's going to be an interesting start. Again, U.S. Touring Car, unique in that it does a standing start uh, for the races. And again, in the dry, it's hairy enough, but uh, in the standing wet... Standing start in the wet is uh, something else. Something Fast Lane Innovations is introducing a new shift light. A lot of the guys in the series are running these things, and they are awesome. It's fully programmable, shift light, sequential. You can program it by Bluetooth with your phone, and it fits any car, stock, or whatever kind of injection system you have or ignition system you have. You can control everything with your phone. You can put down the rev limits and colors and change the sequence, all those, and all for less than 250 bucks. FastLaneInnovations.com. Okay, welcome back. We're about ready to get started with this race with the standing start uphill a little bit here at Mazda Raceway on uh, in the wet. In very mixed conditions, as you can see. So we've got uh, an interesting mix here because we've got some people on slicks, some people on uh, semi-slicks, 
So we're going to see who made the right call here. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of last season in that October race at Sonoma where everybody was mixed up with uh, different setups. And uh, this is our Carl Ritquist looking way back. Wow. He's got a long, clear track ahead of him. Meeting for like five and horsepower. they're off, they're off. Here we go. So this is an advantage right off the bat. The uh, lower horsepower, lighter car of Andre Heritanto in the S2000 rockets wow. off the, uh, the start. Because again, I think it's a little bit easier for him to put down traction versus some of the heavier cars. Yeah, and you have to be careful. Wow, turn two, really wet here. You can see how wet it is in this shot. That's great. We can see. They, they probably <laughs> can't see anything at all. I hope these guys' wipers are working. But uh, yes, you can definitely see from how much, how wet it is. But uh, Artanto took the early lead and Shahan right behind them. These two guys going at it. And they're already, after only two turns, two turns are pulling away. Wow, they are bunched up. They'll look at this action in the back here. It is just a, a mess. <laughs> Everybody's looking for a grip. And uh, the thing is, they haven't had any driving time in the wet here so nobody knows where the grip is from earlier times so everybody's this is their first time in the wet and Akramstev working his way through trying to keep up with the factory five there these two guys pulling away the Honda S2000 and the BMW now here Shahan's got a run on him and again this is interesting with this BMW he's got a little bit more torque than the oh, S2000 he's going for side by side going into turn six you don't do this you don't nice. do this you can't do two cars side by side here oh, 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 Shahan, oh, huge oh. power slide there but now the he lost speed so here's Andre going to the inside is Andre oh, going to be now he's on the right line for the, the right. course group they haven't completed one lap yet this is last lap out of action but we haven't even Across the Where's Andre? Again. Where's Artanto? He's going to be right on the inside. There what are they going to do? He's going to blink first. Oh, oh my God! Side by side through the corkscrew. Do they oh, touch? Pretty respectable no. racing right there. Pretty clean. Okay, now Artanto's got the inside for the next corner. Is he going to take that? Let's see what happens here. Oh, still side by side. Still side by side. A little loose, but now Shine has the inside line. He's not wow. giving up. Wow, we've already got our money worth. Side by side right through the nine. The race. <laughs> And finally, Artanto takes the lead. Wow, that was some good action. But Shawhan's great on the brakes. He's going to try something on the inside here. Let's see. No, he's going to wait. He's going to hold on. Now, be careful because behind them, you have our leader in the GT, in Carl Ritquist. He's waiting. Unfortunately, he catches him on a straightaway. And he probably doesn't want any part of this. And you can see they've got the potential wipers more than so it is. We've got a little bit of, uh, of rain going on right now. Wow, that was a nice battle between two very experienced drivers. Good job on both not to have any collisions. And in the sportsman class, it looks like Thomas Petrie has got a sizable lead. He's pretty comfortable back there. And you can see the cars are sliding around. So again, some people made the right call, some didn't. But in these mixed conditions, um, really just kind of a capture. Oh, we have, we have a broken down car. Larry Banny in that uh, BMW M3 uh, broken down. In the so let's see if they're going to bring out a partial caution or a full course caution here. This could definitely play with the uh, play with where the standings are right now. Well, in the meantime, Ritquist is cruising away. He's got, he's on uh, the wet tires. Oh, Andre in the background with a huge slide there. So right now they're still under full speed. I don't see any type of caution. No, I don't see any full course yet. yellow. No, no, it's just the local yellow uh, for that car. Wow, so these guys are going to keep racing. They are going to keep racing. He's just, uh, Ritquist is just cruising away. He's got nobody behind him. Well, he made a huge trip over here to get to the U.S., so he wants to show everybody yeah, what he's well, got. Yeah, well, you know, it's like, I guess it's all about picking the right, your right setup for today. If you have the wrong setup, uh, you're going nowhere, and uh, he seems to have it. But Hartanto and uh, Sean are going at it, and they're still really close, but Hartanto is leading. Looks like uh, Andre's got a decent amount of grip, too, in that Prima S2000. Uh, so again, they not have just chosen the right setup, and it seems to be working well for them right now. Yeah, but look how far they are ahead of everybody else, these two guys. They are just left the other people in their dust. And they were riding on board with Michael Shaw. Well, Shaw is working uh, hard. Look at him work the oh, steering yeah. wheel. <laughs> we're not quite sure what setup he's on, but I don't think it's as well balanced as, uh, as the Honda S2000. Yeah, when you're looking at the S2000, it looks like Andre is just cruising around. He's, well, he's, maybe not, maybe not there, but... But it definitely looks like Sean is working harder. But talk about evenly matched. I mean, again, this is what makes the series great. You've got two completely different manufacturers, two completely different styles of driving, and yet the cars are evenly matched. No advantage to be had. So it really comes down to driver skill, which makes it such an exciting series to watch. Yeah, but, you know, uh, the front-wheel drive cars is what I would expect to be running up front, but uh, two rear drive cars up front in the rain. But then it's not wet all around the track, so I guess... Uh, well, there's one of your front-wheel drive cars right there, the Bay Area Drafting yeah. Acura. Yeah, you see there's a waving yellow here for, uh, for Benny's car on the side. And uh, Daniel Lacomstead, again, in the GT class, is going to be 
working his way through the traffic of the uh, front runners in the touring car class. Yeah, Ramstev is on a dry setup, and uh, it's not working for him, I guess, because he's only uh, he's uh, only turning touring car time, not GT time. Oh, the touring car battle is definitely close. But again, you've got Daniel Ramstev in the GT class working his way through here. Yeah, for sure. Look at look at how wet that is over there. Oh, two front wheel drive cars. Uh, now we have the two Hondas up there, and behind them, oh, oh that was that was Kimilov, sideways, way sideways. There. And again, side by side racing here. Thomas Petrie versus Petrie in the Sports Two Thousand yellow in that yellow Integra with Bovenberg in the touring car class on the Civic. These two guys going at it. And actually, you could just see. So they ran pretty clean lines. I think they've got. They definitely have an advantage right there versus the rear wheel drive cars. They really have no sliding around. These at all. guys should be pre going be able to go pretty fast in these conditions. These cars are really well set up for these kind of conditions. And it looks like it's drying a little bit too, so let's see how that factors into this whole Yeah, and it's, and it's not wet all around the track, which is a problem with running a full set of wet tires because you, you chew them up in, in the dry section. Exactly. Look at this. There's uh, see a little bit more spray right here, but coming down the hill in the tan there wasn't very much right but uh, no lock no wheel lockups very smooth very uh, nice driving but you can see how much slower the, the, the oh, those the, three oh, cars geez. behind are just tiptoeing around back there those three rear drive high horsepower cars just tiptoeing around there oh and Daniel Cropster is in the middle of the action there wow these two guys going at it uh, Petrie in the yellow Acura Integra versus Bovenberg in that blue Honda City oh. who says uh, <laughs> front wheel drive can't get sideways this is an interesting race, too. And Petrie is doing really well. Again, he's kind of making a name for himself with uh, consistent drives and, and good, consistent speed and nice and clean. Yeah, for sure. That was... Uh, he's, uh, he really wants to win the championship. Um, that, that's, his, that's the team's goal for this year. And uh, they have everything they need. This last year was kind of a training year for them. So hopefully this year they can uh, accomplish their goal. And another team that wants a championship for sure is the uh, Team Prototype Development Group. Uh, watching them right here going through turn five. They've stated that as their clear goal. They're here for one reason, and that's what they're after. So, so far they're doing really well. It's so like far they're doing fantastic. It couldn't be better. On it here. Yeah, uh, so far we've got no competition. Oh, okay, so it's oh, like that's finally getting around these guys. But yeah, he's going to hold up. Oh, yeah, he's, he's holding up hard time. Oh, look at that. There we game, go. That game, Sawheim's got to run on the game, outside, uh, heading up the hill into turn six. Again, this isn't a corner where you can really go side by side. Who's going to blink first? Oh, no. Hartanto backed out of it. Good, good for him. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a pretty... Lips and fight another day. <laughs> yeah, so, so, and Shawheim made it through this time with a little bit less of a slide. Mm -hmm. uh, so, let's see here. The torque of the BMW should pull it up the hill a little bit more easily than the uh, S2000. But again, I mean, S2000 has got its strong points further down the track, so no clear advantage one way or the other. Yep, and up front, once again, Carl Rutquist in the prototype development uh, champion spark plugs. Factory 5. He's just checked out, wow. Yeah, he's a big lead. A good setup and lots of horsepower. It is the key to a fast lap time. So Shaheim has still got the lead here in the foreign car class. Uh, let's see how he does here going to turn 11 with a tighter turn. Oh, oh. squirrely there. Yeah. Yeah, squirrely. Yeah, turn 11 seems to be really slippery. There's a lot of water collected here. I mean, it looks like a lot of people are having problems there, except for these guys. Well, Pete Bokeberg, he's closing the gap there to uh, Thomas Petrie. Uh, so he's making up some progress there. Edgar Lau back there in the initial P, uh, ISS 300. Yeah, number, 20, uh, number 61 car here. Uh, uh, Edgar, all the way from Hong Kong. Um, he's, he's doing some uh, other major races this year, like Le Mans and things like that, too and uh, ALMS, things like that, so um, good to have him in the series. And then uh, one of the guys with another interesting story, um, Andy Chittam, who jumped into this Ford Mustang in the last minute, he's never set foot in this car or sat in it or anything, and he's out there doing pretty well, actually. He's holding his own in, uh, in these wet conditions. Yeah, for sure. They, they had, they had uh, mechanical problems in their Mini and uh, jumped in this backup car, and uh, like you say, doing pretty darn good for a car he's never driven before. <laughs> exactly, no kidding there. <laughs> yeah. So he's, he's trying to close that gap to Edgar, so let's see what happens here. Because again, two rear-wheel drive cars, not quite sure what setups are on, so we'll see who made the right call. So here we have the 82 Honda S2000 of uh, Victor Ng. Next to behind him is the orange uh, Nissan 350Z of Patrick Cho, and behind him is the Acura Integra of Tom Milburn. The first, uh, the first car is the Sportsman. The second is a touring car, and the third is a Sportsman. So, um, and then rear wheel drive, bike car, heavier rear wheel drive car, and then front wheel drive car. Yeah, but Milburn <laughs> just wants to buy this uh, this uh, Nissan because he wants to get to that S two thousand. 
but the Nissan has a little bit more horsepower, so he's probably going, get out of the way. And uh, Beatrice up here just saying, you guys play back there, and I'm going <laughs> yeah, to check out. Yeah, slow each other down, and I'm checked out. Exactly. Again, it looks like we're drying out a little bit here, so I'd say three-quarters of the track is getting dry, but there's still a couple wet sections coming down the hill after the course. Yeah, and remember, these guys are, um, as the longer they drive, too, they get used to the conditions, and they will probably go faster here so we are on board with Petri. Looks like he's got some nice clear track ahead of him. And again, looks like the car is responding well. He's got a good setup here. Yeah, look how, how effortless he's just like not even working hard. The steering wheel really smooth and fits. Oh, whoa. Whoa, wow. Neat. Wow, he's drifting everywhere. I didn't know you could drift a corkscrew like that. <laughs> I've never seen drifting through the corkscrew like that. That was pretty impressive. Nice job. He kept it all together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this was, that was pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, Thomas Petrie here. Um, Nice smooth driving yeah. on the turn 11. These conditions reward this type of driving, smooth and uh, with the input, smooth on the steering. You know, no signs of drifting at all, so he's doing well. Yeah, look at him. You know, two cars behind, we have George Kibilov's uh, Super Touring uh, BMW. Oh, uh, Andy Chittam going for a ride there. So <laughs> well, maybe it's not quite as dry maybe as he's getting used, Maybe he's getting used to the car. Yeah, he's pushing those limits. That's the only way to find him, right? He's got to yeah. go over them. Every That's now right, and yes. Well, good thing he didn't hit anything. <laughs> back on their way. So under braking, you can see Kibilov there seems to be closing the gap, but these front-wheel drive cars, I think, do have an advantage in this, uh, these mixed Yeah, but, but the, the, the Acura versus the, that gray BMW, you know, this is probably about 100, <laughs> 120 horsepower that, difference between them. That is true. Wow. So Shahan's pulled out a little bit of a lead, but you can see that car is kind of all over the place. So... Yeah, Hartanto's definitely not giving up. Oh, no, no, no. These guys are two championship winners. Uh, it's going to be a fight right down to the end. I can guarantee you that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these two guys are still going at it, and this is definitely the best fight uh, at the current moment on the track. So right on board with uh, Michael Sainz. Oh, oh look at him! Oh, that car's really yeah. loose! I'm not sure. He might be on the, on the dry weather tires. I'm not sure, but it's, uh, it's a handful for sure. Boy, that's, uh, that's something. He's... It seems like every corner is almost yeah, losing it. That's that's tough. I mean, but again, he won the championship last year. He knows how to do this. So let's see if he can hang on here till the end. Yeah, let's see if he's getting sideways in the exit of this corner. No, nice there. A little bit drier right here. Yeah, this is the little dry section, but it's misleading. Oh, oh he's sliding. Yeah. Because you get to turn 11, and all of a sudden there's a big puddle. Let's see here. But uh, Harajanto is closing up in that Prima S2000. Well, every time every time Sean gets a little sideways, he loses a bit of speed there. I mean, again, but this is such a great thing. I mean, two completely different manufacturers, completely different weights, two completely different drivers, yet they're right here neck and neck. No one has a clear advantage. Look, there's nobody within I mean, sight of them in a so great. Race. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Here we are on board with, um, with Ritquist. He looks like he's about to red lap these guys already. Yeah, so he's doing really well in his, uh, his series debut. Um, I think he's having a good time out there. And, Again, he's making this his state of gold to win the championship in the GT class, and so far he's, he's doing pretty well with that. Yeah, just, he's just got to be careful not to make any mistakes and pass these cars gently because um, he's got a huge gap. But uh, one thing you don't want to have to do is uh, to throw it all up. If you get stuck in one of these gravel traps, your day's done. Exactly, but these guys seem to be pretty respectful. Again, this is a good group of guys. They've, they've all raced for many years in different series, so it's a pretty respectful group for what they're doing. Uh, and I think so far the fact that we're still under green flag racing conditions in these mixed yeah, conditions. Yeah, no full course yellows. That's yeah, pretty impressive, I mean, actually, in these that's, conditions. That's great. That really yeah. speaks uh, a lot to the talent. Oh, well, oh. It's too soon. <laughs> yeah. What happened now? Let's see here. Maybe have a broken so, down yeah. car. I think it's a broken down car. So, but is this going to go full course yellow? Because this could. Oh, oh Bubba Bird. Bird. So we've got a waving yellow here in turn three. Same exact place for Larry Banny, so this is probably not uh, going to remain the local yellow. Wow, so this is going to bunch the field back up again. Well, if only if they if, do. If they go full course. If they go yeah. full course. Let's see what happens here. I don't think uh, yeah, this is a, this Shawhan is a, will be too happy if we end up getting bunched up here. Yeah, that would be the worst thing for them. Is, uh, and Petrie, too, Thomas Petrie, if, if we get bunched up, is going to lose yeah. that huge... Uh, Look at that. That's that Sam, Sam Stoll's number 41. That's that a good-looking car. XKRS. That good-looking car, but maybe not the best not car the best for Not the best car condition. for today, but uh, still, he's running in third place in GT, so he's yeah. not doing too bad. That's got to be is he going to split these guys with their source power? Yeah, look at that. He's probably guy. just spinning his tires like left and right right there. <laughs> That's a good-looking car, though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice to have that kind of horse power. So, so far, it looks like we're... Not going full course yellow. No, so it doesn't look like it looks like it's gonna stay. 
Andy Chittum, uh, looking good in that Ford Mustang. Getting more comfortable with it there. Again, this is a guy that's gone from front wheel drive to rear wheel drive cars never sat in before or even seen. Yeah, and well, you know what? He's doing all well. this stuff and he's still running in third place right now. Exactly. So he's doing something right. Getting more constant here, running in second place in the GT class, being his way by Michael McCulligan in the Mazda Trix RX-8. Yeah, um, a Mazda, the Mazda has been kind of uh, quiet, <laughs> if you forgive the pun at Mazda Raceway, but <laughs> he's been, uh, we haven't heard about much about him. He's been uh, just staying out of trouble. We haven't seen much of him. Andy Chittum trying some different lines. So again, I mean, completely different car for him. Still learning what works best, but looks like he's out there having fun. And we should say that that Mustang you see is not a V8. That's a V6 Mustang, so it doesn't have the, the V8. 400 horsepower. That's no, a, no, <laughs> it's, it's a heavy car without the horsepower, so you got to work to make it quick. You, do, you definitely do. Riding on board with Carl Rydquist here in the prototype development group. So here we go. We've got uh, people who are getting towed off right in front of us. Uh, this looks like, they're, they're, looks like they're, they're getting them out. They're trying to get them out of the way. So Shawhan is still in the lead in the touring car class, but Haritanto is getting a little bit more racy back there. I think uh, he realizes he's got to make a move here coming up. Oh, they're just speaking of move. He's getting he ready for a move. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. A little bit of a run. On the inside of turn two. Oh, he's he's definitely got this wow. right now. He, well, let's see if uh, Sean can make it up under braking into turn two. Uh, but again, these cars are so evenly matched. That was set up probably four turns ago before he made this happen. Oh, right look there. at Sean. Late on the brakes. Not giving it up. Really respectful so far, though, because they're going side by side here. Oh, he's here. still there. He's there. Oh, oh, oh okay. look, they well, touched. Boy. That was just a little left That was tap. a mirror to mirror yeah. touch. <laughs> That was awesome. And but Sean, now he goes wide. And they've got traffic coming up here, too. So we've got a Victor Ng and the S2000 and uh, Tom Milburn in that area drafting uh, Hector RSX. Boy, that was a move oh. that told Hartanto, I'm not giving up. Wow. So, but Sean now is missing the driver's side mirror. <laughs> I, I don't think he's using the mirrors anyway. I think it just be it got bent. I don't think it broke. It looks like it's oh, back, back to the right. He's got flexible mirrors in terms yeah. of racing. So he's got a little bit of a gap now, but again, we know that Hartanto knows that he can make it work uh, through 11 down to the front stretch, so expect to see that again. Oh, oh it's the traffic, traffic now. Oh, nice run oh, here so by Hartanto. Better, better Blocking move by Shahan. Nope, uh, but he's got him. He's, uh, well, he's, we saw this last time, but it didn't stick, so let's oh, see what see, happens. In the breaking here, in the sweat break now he's zone. going in the inside. Yes, Hartanto made it work. But now he's got another Honda S2000. Seems to be a popular car this year, but he's got to make his way past that. He has to take, make this pass. Okay, he worked. had to do a critical move. Good thing. There was room there, because otherwise... Victoring, given plenty of room to these guys. Look, he's, chief, he's checking his mirror. He knows Sean's there. He's coming. Uh, he's got... He's pulled out a decent gap, though, so I think it's going to be a little bit of time before Sean can make a move uh, on Haritanto. This prima racing on it. Oh, white flag is out. Last lap. Oh. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here. The gloves are off now. <laughs> is, is Sean going to try... He's got, he, he's, he's got uh, the best opportunity coming up in turn, turn uh, two. And he's not going to give up. He's on it. Oh, and uh, Patrick Cho in that Speed SF uh, Nissan 350Z is in front of Hartantos. This could be could be a problem. Let's see what happens up here. Oh, let's go. Oh. Well, yeah, this is a shot we saw. Oh, but wow. This is going to let him Oh, uh, the Nissan has to let him through, even though they're, uh, they're semi-teammates. Uh, yeah. But hopefully he needs to slow down oh, the BMW. Got, uh, Felipe Loza in the Pepster Felipe Loza is broken now. Camaro, looks, like, yeah. looks like he's having some mechanical difficulties. All right, let's see here. So Sean going to try something. No, he's oh, right yes. on. Oh, yes. Sean on his ass. Going on the inside of turn six. And the Ford Mustang is right here. How's this going to play? No, he backs out of it. Maritanto is through turn six. So we saw him now. So... Hopefully, maybe one or two more chances, and maybe at the corkscrew and 11 for Sean to try and move. And here's a uh, right twist in the prototype development group. Going to take his maiden victory nice. in his first race. Yeah. Great job. Well flag, on his way flag to, to flag a victory. championship. Yeah. If all the races go with this easy for them, they'll uh, win the championship for sure. But the touring car battle. Oh, Chittum oh nice. Chittum out of the way. No, drives out of the way. Very nice move. He knew what was going on behind. All right, let's see. Let's see what Shawhan's got in the in the tank. He's got he's one more chance to turn eleven, but turn eleven is uh, Hartanto's strong suit. Looks and like. again, Hartanto is an experienced racer. I mean, he's done Continental Tire Series. He knows what to do. He's a great coach. 
Uh, Sean's gonna have to work if he's gonna pull this off. A little bit too far back for Sean. It's not close enough. I don't think he's. Uh, could we could we see a replay of the uh, the IMSA series bump and run with the Corvette? And the <laughs> no, Sean, no, no, too no, far no. back to make that happen. No, too far back. But uh, uh, well, but yeah, again, well, it looks oh, like oh, Patrick Joe, way sideways, way back there. But Hartato is gonna come out with the first win of the, of the 2017 season. U.S. Touring Car Championship season. Second place for Sean and third place for, for Andy Chittum in that Ford Mustang. So nice job, Andy. And Carl Ridquist uh, wins the GT class, and, uh, and Thomas Beecher takes Sportsman. And then uh, George Kivlov in the Super Touring class was the winner. So great job by everyone, and uh, yeah, we look forward to the next race coming up at Fontana at uh, Auto Club Speedway in uh, Southern California. <laughs> look at these guys, give them you guys a uh, thumbs up. Great respectful racing right there. No full course caution. Awesome.